Hello Aries, welcome to uh, the Whistling Hermit channel and today we are going to do something new. We are going to make, uh, we are going to try to assess the state of your chakras by using the seven tarot, uh, seven, seven tarot spread which is called the chakra tarot spread. Okay, um, as you can see here, the seven major chakras of our body is represented by uh, the crystals, by several crystal, healing crystals. Uh, the root chakra, which is the lowest chakra, is represented by the black obsidian. And then the sacral chakra, the root chakra is related to being grounded, related to feeling secure. So it can be what I have or what makes me feel secure. Now the second chakra is the sacral chakra, which is represented by uh, the red jasper. And it symbolizes relationships. Uh, especially sexual relationships, our sexuality, uh, also our ability to create things, our creativity. Now the third chakra, which is the solar plexus chakra, is the chakra of our uh, inner strength, the fire within. So uh, <clears throat> what I can, okay, what I can, so this is what I can, this is what I feel, this is uh, what I have or what sustains me or what makes me feel secure. This is what I can, the power within, the ability to, to <clears throat> be self-sufficient. And then finally, uh, the chakra number four, we have two crystals. We have the uh, rose quartz and uh, the green adventuring. This is related to what I love. Okay, so self-love, uh, romantic love, love of family members, love of friends. Okay, here on the fifth chakra, we have the uh, throat chakra. And represent it is represented by the blue sodalite. It is related to what I say or what I speak of. Okay, it is related to communication, the ability to express oneself. In the sixth chakra or the third eye chakra, we have here the amethyst, <clears throat> and it is related to our ability to be intuitive, to uh, uh, also the, the site for our insights, our inspiration. No? So being able to be more sensitive. So this is what I see. And then finally, we have the last one, the seventh chakra, which is the uh, crown chakra. This is uh, <clears throat> our ability to be receptive to the messages from, the, from God, from the divine, from the spirit, or from the universe, and also from our spirit guides. Now, uh, so this is uh, our communication with our inner self. Okay, so <clears throat> this is uh, what I know. Okay, what I see, what I know. Okay, or what I discern, or what I receive from the universe. Okay, now <clears throat> without any further ado, we will move forward and try to see <clears throat> what we can uh, discern from our chakras through the tarot cards. Right now the tarot card we are using is the modern spellcasters tarot and the <clears throat> main energy which is the bottom card oh very similar to to uh, the previous uh, card that, that the previous reading we had I think it was uh, Vir Virgo or Leo no I think Pisces yes it was Pisces and uh, so uh, let us continue, Aries. Okay, uh, so here, the <clears throat> the fool represents our uh, sense of adventure, our inner child. It can symbolize also our um, courage, you not know, to take risks. Uh, also, the beginning of a new chapter in our life. Uh, also, the, the our awareness of the support of the divine in our lives. Okay, so. <clears throat> this is the main energy. Now we will try to see uh, okay, the cards that are related to our chakras. We have here the Emperor and then the Nine of Pentacles. We have here the Ten of Pentacles and then Temperance. Then we have the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands and finally we have the Hanged Man. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so um, the emperor, okay, uh, for the root chakra, okay, let us now go to the root chakra. Now, with the root chakra, we have here the emperor, and you see here, 
uh, we see here a uh, sort of like the, the ram, you know, like Aries or the ox or whatever, the ram. I think it's the, more of the uh, the bull, no, the ram. And uh, uh, somehow uh, you see here uh, being grounded. Uh, the, usually when it, you are the emperor, you are in, in, you are in power and you are on fire. So I, I feel right now, Aries, you are well grounded. And uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Emperor is also your card. So in a certain sense, uh, you are uh, well grounded at this present time. In fact, you are on fire. Uh, you are very, very stable right now in your personality. You are productive. You are. Uh, you have this courage, and this. You have courage, and you have strength, in order to get things done and you are very much in touch with reality. So uh, somehow your root chakra is functioning very well. Now we have here the nine of pentacles for the sacral chakra. Now when you look at it, uh, the squirrel here is covered with an acorn. Okay, so somehow uh, when it comes to relationship, you seem to follow your intuition. At this present time, uh, when I look at this one, it seems that uh, you are in search of somebody <laughs> you see here this this person is daydreaming uh, this lady is daydreaming and she is at one side of the fence so for some of you maybe right now you are trying to wonder uh, what it is like on the other side of the fence okay so whatever state of life you are right now if you are committed to somebody maybe you are wondering how it would have how it would feel if you are not committed to anyone. If you are not committed to anyone, maybe at this time you are wondering how it would feel if you are committed to somebody, okay? Uh, or if you are committed to a certain person, you are maybe wondering how it would feel if you were not related to this person, but to another person, okay? So you just take what resonates with you. It's just that at this present time, you are dreaming of better days, okay? Something like that. So. In the relationship maybe something is missing in the relationship and you are wondering maybe i can have a better one okay so it's something like that so try to discern right now whether it is like that now at the same time here we have here the ten of pentacles and people are smiling so somehow when it comes to the sake solar plexus you seem to be empowered at this time and you see here this lady old lady she's looking contentedly on her maybe if not her children or it could be her grandchildren okay so there is a certain sense of contentment so uh, somehow you also feel confident uh, you are able to achieve what you set yourself out to achieve uh, you seem to be uh, at least at this time a little bit uh, secure and uh, you are able to to move forward with confidence so right now you are confident you have this inner fire that allows you to accomplish things. Actually, you can see it already here in the emperor, where is this inner fire also. And uh, when you look at the inner fire, you know, it's, it's uh, somehow you are grounded here at the root chakra. At the same time, you seem to be, uh, your, your, your solar plexus chakra is also strong and functioning well. Now, also, I think when you look at the heart chakra, it seems to be also functioning, functioning well. We have here, the card of the temperance, somebody who's able to balance things. You are not in the extremes. You are taking the middle road. So I feel when it comes to relationship, you are also able to objectively analyze the relationship. I think maybe that is the reason why here you are wondering things. No? Maybe you are already able to discern that something is lacking in your relationship. Now, how you're going to do it, maybe you can try to think of ways to make your uh, your uh, romantic relationship a little bit more exciting maybe what you need is a little creativity uh, in order to make your uh, your romantic relationship a little bit more exciting and as i think you are able to make a balance now you are able to discern you are able to give love but at the same time also you are able to ask that love be returned to you so I feel you are well balanced when it comes to relationship right now. In fact, you have the ability to fly. You see those wings on the legs of this person. So uh, the middle road is the best road. I mean, uh, usually uh, you are not in the extremes. No, you are not uh, falling head over heels on somebody, 
but at the same time also you are not also uh, sort of like very hard or cold to people you are warm you reach out to people but at the same time also you are also a generous receiver uh, a, a grateful receiver you're a generous giver but also a grateful receiver you you seem to well be well balanced when it comes to relationship also it's just that somehow maybe in the sexual area maybe you uh, maybe there's a need for you to be a little bit more creative okay when it comes to the communication uh, i don't know why uh, it seems that you are a little bit cold you tend to detach yourself from people you are you you don't speak too much and yeah you put a big sword in front of you it's like as if uh, you require other people to just by the look and by your silence people feel that they need to be true to you that they cannot lie to you somehow it's like that you're a little bit firm yeah it means that you have good boundaries but at the same time uh, maybe you are a little bit too firm that people are afraid to approach you so right now uh, maybe there's a need for you to be a little bit more approachable be a little bit more communicative but there are stages in our life when we are like that we don't want to talk we don't want to speak too much i don't know if it is related to what is happening in your uh say sacral plexus uh you know how it is uh, uh i'm sorry but uh, sometimes when when you you are lacking in sexual gratification sometimes you're you always say i have a headache okay you don't want to interact with people you're a little bit uh uh, on the edge uh, a little bit uh, easily get you easily lose your patience <laughs> i don't know maybe you need to work on this one on this area uh yes to to have a good uh, romantic relationship is also very important i mean they are the the roses in in in, in a garden of thorns okay so they they brighten up our life so you, you have to consider if you are a married person uh, yes a romantic relationship helps you grow but it would be nice if your relationship is not too complex it's just you and your special partner uh, don't make it complex don't make your life too complex wherein there will be other parties entering now that that will make your life difficult maybe it will make your sacral plexus even go haywire but right now with your throat chakra you seem to be a little less communicative than you would maybe but you are by the heart you you are you are able to balance your emotions you are, you seem to be a little bit objective when it comes comes to loving but uh, there is a tendency for you to be a little bit less communicative and for some of you maybe a little cold when it comes to relating to other people so you try to see if it resonates with you now you are receiving a lot of messages right now for for the uh, the third eye chakra you seem to be receiving a lot of messages from the universe the bird can symbolize your spirit guides you are receiving guidance maybe in order to address this problem with the sacral plexus and also this problem with the throat chakra no the other chakra seems to be okay so uh, somehow uh, you need to be a little bit more uh, open listen more to your intuition trust the thoughts that come to you uh, be aware of of any synchronicities in your life right now uh, repeating numbers uh, repeating animals that you encounter certain events that seem to be interrelated to each other you now be aware of that maybe the universe wants to tell you something at this present time you have the hanged man a certain situation makes you feel limited in motion but it allows you also to look at life in a different point of view maybe uh, some challenges that you are encountering in the sacral and in the throat chakra maybe are helping you also look at life at uh, a little bit more uh, object uh, and a different point of view uh, it means that somehow you are maturing in your point of view also uh, usually uh, when you see here this one this segment I don't know why uh, suddenly I kept thinking that uh, the closing of the chapter i don't know why suddenly that came to me you try to see what it is no because uh, somehow death can also when you look at it it's like a person that is being placed in the tomb right now you feel uh constrained but you see here there is a balance between the light and the darkness so uh i think the universe is trying to help you there must be a certain question right now that you couldn't see you see this person is his face is covered and his body is covered uh, maybe you are experiencing something a certain event in your life right now that limits your capacity to move 
and you couldn't understand it right now. Maybe you have some questions from some questions you would like to express to the divine, uh, but you are not able to to voice this out. No, you have certain questions. You have certain things that you cannot understand right now in your life. That's why your your head is covered and you feel limited. You feel you cannot move. Maybe before you feel that your relationship with the divine and and your spirit guides are a little bit free, uh, but now there seems to be a little bit strain. Uh, and you couldn't explain it. Maybe that's the reason also why you are receiving a lot of communications from, from the spirit realm. Maybe it's because of this one. There is something that maybe you need to understand. You need to learn something that needs to be brought to light. You know? So I feel that at this present time, you are like in limbo and you are waiting for some guidance so that you will be enlightened so that you will know what you are undergoing right now so maybe you are aware you are least you are able to sense that the universe is sending you messages but as they send you that message you, you might have difficulty trying to understand what the message is okay so you could feel that there are messages but uh, somehow there is a difficulty for you to see or to understand the message that is being said to you. So I think you need also to work on your receptivity. Uh, be honest to be honest with, with God or the spirit or, or the universe or and also your spirit guides. If you cannot understand, you tell them, I cannot understand, please let me understand. Okay. It's just a matter of communicating and being receptive and asking them to help you. They usually would try to make us understand the message by the means that they know we will understand the message. So somehow uh, at this present time, you are receiving a lot of messages, you, but you are having difficulty trying to understand what it is being said to you. So at this present time, I think the things, the chakras that you need to work on are the sacral, uh, the throat chakra, and yes, the, the crown chakra. Um, <clears throat> the other seems to be uh, more or less functioning well. So, uh, there is something happening you are receiving it's as if a chapter wants to open okay so that's like the, yeah it's not really a closing of well a chapter for a new chapter to open a chapter has to close so i think a chapter wants to open and the universe are sending you a lot of insight so that you can open the chapter but you are a little bit in transit right now because you seem to be trying to understand what the message is maybe that is also the reason why you are less communicative because of what is happening in the higher chakras you 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 want to withdraw yourself a little bit more so that you can understand the message that is being given to you so it can be also the reason why you are not very much communicative is because something is uh at a foot in in your uh sixth and seventh chakras and uh <clears throat> with the emotions yeah you're trying to weigh things because uh, there is a certain in discontent in the sacral chakra okay so this is what we can see uh the other the solar plexus and uh, and and the uh, root chakra seems to be functioning well now <clears throat> so this is what we can see right now i hope you you are able to to resonate with the messages that we are receiving right now just take what resonates with you because this is a general reading and at the same time if you uh there's a reason why you found this this video right now uh, this is a timeless video but the time that you see it is the time that it was meant for you to see okay now let us see what the oracle cards would like to tell us watchers transpersonal okay there are people watching over you right now <laughs> very much close to to this uh eight of wands no uh people are watching uh spirit, the spirits are watching over you uh, they really have something a special message for you uh, you need to be aware uh, to to allow them to guide you and let you know what you need to do winter's dream gestation period okay so you are really right now in sort of like uh, a winter moment uh, a transit moment where uh, you couldn't move forward immediately because you are trying to discern the messages that you are receiving from the divine so uh, there is a gestation period before you are go a new chapter is opened or before a new chapter is born into your life okay so uh, right now it's like you are in a transition moment maybe for some of you it can be a, a moment of transformation a uh, a moment of learning 
uh, at this time. You are trying to learn the new things that the universe is trying to give you. So you are in a gestation period right now, waiting for uh, clarification to the messages that you are receiving from the divine. Well, <clears throat> that is what we have right now, uh, Aries, for your uh, chakra tarot spread. I hope this has helped you in your present journey. I hope it has given you some clarification or some answers to some of your questions. And uh, I thank you for all the likes and the supportive comments that you have given in, in the channel. And uh, if you think it will help somebody, don't hesitate to share it with them. If this is, if you are a, a subscriber or already, thank you for continuing to support the channel. For those of you who are just passing and are not yet have become subscribers, uh, you, you might want to become a subscriber. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope to see you again in our next videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.